Kara is a student at Grace King, and when I walked in the first day to see her to do an evaluation on her for assistive technology, I knew that she was going to be an excellent candidate for it because she was so verbal and she had so much personality. Assistive technology is any technology that will allow a student to access the regular curriculum. So in Kara's instance, she's not able to use her arms and her legs. And so she needed an ability to, and she obviously has a very good brain, she needed the ability to be able to do her research, do her text work, her writing, her reading, everything through a computer. The head mouse is a dot and the camera follows the dot. And when the camera follows the dot, all she has to do is move her head. Then there's two softwares that go with that camera. Screen Doors, which is an on-screen keyboard, which also includes word prediction. And then there's also Magic Cursor. So she can do a single left click, a single right click. She can do a double click. She can do a click and drag. She has just taken off like a shooting star. She's just done so well with it. I think that just the fact that this has made her independent has just lit a fire under her. She's making better grades. She's doing very well. So she told me that the other day when she Skyped me at home. She said that she's, she's improved her grades. And I said, weren't you making good grades before? Because she's, she did have assistance. And she said, no. <laughs> Matter of factly, no. So she's doing better. I think that it's given her things to fill her time. She can surf the internet, she can research, she can do her homework. She's doing her homework now, which she wasn't before. She's got great support here at school. Her teachers are giving her the agendas and the homework assignments and anything that they can give her in digital format so that she's able to do it with a computer. She's not re always relying on Miss Vegas to do the pencil and paper tasks. So um, I think just the, the self-esteem and the, hey, I can do this attitude that's probably given her, but she had a great attitude before, don't, don't get me wrong, she did, um, but she has just blossomed. Today she was demonstrating to her class, there was an assignment to, to write several chapters about me, and so she chose to write about her name, her neighborhood, and her birth. My birth. When I was born, I was delivered as a special baby. The reason they considered me a special baby because I was born not breathing. The doctors told my mom I probably wouldn't make it, and if I did, I would be mentally challenged. So they told my mom to put me up for adoption, but my mom asked if she could see me before she made any decision. <coughs> as the doctors carried me down the hallway, I screamed all the way down the hallway. But the moment they put me in my mom's arms, I stopped crying. When I stopped crying, my mom was emotionally touched and decided to keep me. She read the entire thing to the class. She composed the entire Word document. She put backgrounds in it for color, contrast. She's very creative, and she was applauded by her peers. It's, it's the most rewarding thing about my job, is to, to see progress and rewards through the um, the positive things that happen to students because of what I can provide. I think she, the sky's the limit. I think the only thing that's going to limit Kara is Kara. I feel like she can go to college. I feel like she can find something that she really likes. She obviously likes to do creative things with art. She's able to use the paint programs. I think that, that she'll find her niche and I think she'll be able to do anything that she wants. Thank you.